Shri Krishna says in Gita that I supported Arjun because Arjun had great potential. The God says in the Quran, Kullu nafsil zaikatul maut. All the people who have taken birth in this world, they all have to die once and one day. All the philosophers, speakers, you will be finding this Hasi Vadi, this Khil Khilata Hua Bagi Chan Fool. Tere chehre ki muskan mein karta hu aaj bayan. It's all about romantic zone and romantic context. Since when I have seen you, I have become crazy for you. You have stepped. There are 5700 colleges for MBA in India. Four to five lakhs students qualify and complete their MBA degree every year in India. There are 1100 universities, 43,000 colleges. But all the students who qualify, the degrees they all don't secure a good job and they all don't secure a good designation. They all don't secure a great entrepreneurship skill and they don't become a successful businessman or business lady. What am I going to explain you today? What am I going to tell you today? I'm going to tell you one of the biggest blunder that you make sometimes. You learn English. You just understand a little bit English. You start feeling satisfied and fulfilled. And you think that you can now speak English and you have become an effective English speaker or public speaker. But this is not the case. Don't believe and trust on overnight success and viral zone. It's not the matter of this TikTok and Instagram real ladies and gentlemen. It's not Ranu Mandal Teri Meri Kahani. It's not Baspan Ka Pyar. It's not Kacha Badam. It's something different where you need to find out, find out, find out and explore, explore and explore. Because there is a saying that one room has been achieved, lakhs of rooms are left to be achieved. This is what the public speaking is. In public speaking, you have to measure yourself every day because if you don't do it, someone will cross you and he or she will defeat you and march forward and go ahead. What you need to actually remind yourself, remind yourself always to upgrade and update yourself. To always teach and educate yourself. To always learn new skills and new things. And to always give a space for improvement and development. But we don't do this. We don't understand this. And we start feeling fulfilled. And we think that now we have become gained and accessed enough information and enough skill to just express ourselves or to present ourselves. But my dear friends, already there are lakhs and crores of speakers, orators, philosophers who are checking their luck and destiny in this department and field. All are not successful. All are not appreciated. All are not heard and listened properly. All, all don't get that kind of that kind of uh, uh, fame. All, all don't get that kind of fine following and well-wishing zone. But you need to be one of them. You need to break all the barriers of your stoppage. As there was a saying that problems are not the stop line. Problems are the guideline. So when you have the problem in your gesture, posture, words, grammar, public speaking, tone, just check all these and give a space to improvise and improve all these. Ladies and gentlemen, I am telling you one of the biggest things that generate and create your own style of speaking. Generate and create your own style and method of your speaking. Never imitate, mimic, copy others. 
because others already have shaped themselves but it's up to you now to shape you up you have to create your own path you have to leave your own particles and your own footsteps to just tell those people who are running after you or who are walking after you they must be inspired and educated persuaded by you you must create your own style people will say that you have a fake accent people will say that you hyperbolic exaggerate people will say that you are not a great public speaker people will say that you are not that much potential or creative productive but you have to mark yourself you have to believe and trust yourself that you are going to just achieve the the, the zenith the the space, the place, the mark that where no one can defeat you, you will be the master and owner of your own style. Create your own style. All the philosophers, all the speakers, all the orators, you will see them. Whether they talk about religion, they talk about motivation, they talk about emotion, they talk about... Shri Krishna says in Gita, that I supported Arjun because Arjun had great potential. The God says in the Quran, Kullu nafsil zaikatul maut. All the people who have taken birth in this world, they all have to die once and one day. All the philosophers, speakers, you will be finding out, you will be reading, you will be watching, listening them. They have their own different zone, different style of delivering. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Play with your words. Start gaining and accessing so many extra words that words you should never have the lack and dearth and the weakness of the words. You must never have the weakness of your gesture. You must never have the weakness of your attitude. You must never have the weakness of your delivery and presentation style. You must never have the weakness of connecting your audience. It's very important. That's why I'm just talking about only a single word. That's your own style. Because people may steal your words, people may steal your sentences, people may steal your stories, but what people can't steal, that's your own generated and created style. Why do you worry a lot about it? Why don't you understand this? I just have a question to you. Go sit in a corner. Understand yourself that what's my problem? Why can't I speak properly? What's the problem I'm facing that I'm not uh, accessing or gaining that much confidence as Mr. Abdullah has? Now you have to just check yourself. You have to synergize and analyze yourself and create your own style. Now I'm talking about four to five points you all are going to implement from right now and just in this moment. What are my four to five points to tell you? Take yourself to the different zones and contest. As I'm giving you five contexts of a speaking. The first context is emotion. The second context is anger. The third context is motivation. The fourth context is romance. The fifth context is funny. I don't be a kind of single space or single context speaker that you always must be serious, talk about motivation, talk about this and that, I always try to give the philosophy, inspiration. People will just get bored by you and I just, you know, by listening you again and again that you are talking about the same thing for a long time you have been talking and people will won't understand and they don't appreciate you. This is what I'm saying right now. So I'm trying to tell you that you have to follow. Let's come to the emotional zone. You know, you are taking yourself to the emotional zone.
You are taking your audience to the emotion zone. You are taking all your watchers, all your viewers to the emotional zone. You are taking all your trainees and students to the emotional zone. Take them and make them feel and realize the importance of emotion, you know? Today I'm standing here in front of you. I'm just talking to you. I'm just expressing myself, but there was the moment and there was the time. I was crying alone. I was sitting, I was alone, nobody was with me. I was sitting, I was crying, I was thinking that, what next? I was thinking that, what next? I was thinking that, what next? I had only tears in my eyes. I had no hope, no ray of hope, no expectation, no dream. Ah, my old dreams got failed. And I was like, oh my God, what next? What next I should do? Lack of finance, lack of education, lack of literacy, lack of encouragement, lack of support, lack of appreciation, lack of dream, lack of awareness, lack of, lack of motivation. And it was like, oh my God, what next? I was like completely gloomy. I was like lost. You all can feel the problem. When a child has nothing to eat, when a child has no piece of bread to eat, how can he take a piece of page to read? You will have to understand it and feel it. And you all must understand this. That's what I was saying. And I'm telling you. Understand my dear friends. This was my emotional context. Where I made you connect and made you realize that you have to be emotional somewhere because I made you emotional. It's all about playing. Know how to play with your audience and viewers. And if you don't have this technique, leave the field of public speaking and training. You can quit it. You are not mastered. And if you're not mastered, how the people will pay you, will praise you, will recommend you, will appreciate you, will appraise you, will aspire you. We'll just talk about you. You have to understand this. Understand this. Now let's go to the angry mode. When you take yourself in the angry mode, automatically your sound comes up. You go to the deep of the sound. You make your voice heavy. And if you don't have this habit, practice it. If you don't have this habit, practice it from right now. You have to work upon your articulation and tonality. It's very, very mandatory and important. I am just talking to you, but you don't understand. Don't follow my instructions while you watch my video. Quit the video. Go back to sleep. Is it the habit that you have adopted? Is it the habit that you have created in yourself? What will be your future if you don't implement all these methodologies and stretches what I have told you multiple of times and lakhs of times? But you don't understand what is the use of and utilization of telling these and recording these many videos and giving you free of cost. Have you ever thought it? Have you ever thought it? Do you ever think about it? Do you never ever understand it? You never, I have understood this, you never understand that. This is my anger. And now I talk to you in anger zone. And this was my anger zone. That I showed you my anger, irritation, my tempered mood. And now I will move to the next zone. Another zone. And that another zone will be romantic zone. This Hasi Wadi. This Khil Khilata Hua Bagi Chan Fool. It's all about romantic zone and romantic context. Since when I have seen you, I have become crazy for you. You have stepped into my life and I found myself complete. You come, it looks like Jannat. It looks like Kashmir, Manali, Goa, Shimla, Nainital. Why? Because you have the cutest smile on this planet. You have the cutest energy on this planet. You, have, you are the most positive girl I have ever seen. And that's why I just want to say that. 
It's my emotion and emotion I just want to express that I like you. I love you. I care you. I support you. I want to appreciate you for every step and everything. You know, you understand this. But you never understand this, that how much affection I'm carrying along with me in my heart. You have made this world beautiful. You have made my life beautiful. You have made all the people's lives beautiful. Whoever you have just, you know, connected. That's what I want to say that. You are the most precious. You are the prettiest. You are the cutest. You are the most romantic one. Where I took you? I took you to the romantic zone. And the moment I took you to the romantic zone, you felt the romantic way of speaking. You felt my emotion of speaking. That I, the moment, in a such way I spoke, you realized that yes, he is speaking in a different tone. Now, I will take you to the funny zone. And in the funny zone when I take you, I must have different expression. And the facial expression, the different style, the body language, and the different way of expressing myself in the funny zone. You know what happened once with me that I was just in the path. I was doing exercise. A small guy came to me and he said, Uncle, uncle, I said, Oh my god, why is he calling me uncle? Am I looking like uncle? I call I said to him that hey, don't call me uncle. I look like bhaiya, right? You are a small child, but yes, I am also a small one. Why are you calling me uncle? That I, you are insulting my age. I'm just 24, 25. He said, Okay, bhaiya bula leta. Like he said that okay, I'd call I would call you bhaiya. I said, Thank you so much for this title. And then he said that, I understand and I know English, I can speak English. I said, oh my God, you can speak English, that's great. Okay, speak something. He said, I want to tell you the English of Achar. I said, okay, tell me the English of Achar. He said, Achar. I was like shocked, excuse me, that he's making fun of me or he's making fun of himself or he somewhere was the reel of the Instagram that he said that Achar and Pawni and Kana like this. So the moment you just become funny, you have to just uh, take yourself to the, comfort, to the context of the fun and the, the, the joke, that, that laughter, that, uh, that feeling of uh, laughing, the feeling of smiling, the feeling of that joke. You have to take yours. The last. I would like to tell you that I would like to take you to the motivational zone. Motivational zone. And I understand that you are going to give up somewhere in your life. You're going to leave your work in the lurch. You are going to stumble down and stag stagger in your life. You are going to quit sometimes. You are going to lose all your hope sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes your moment a day becomes gloomy. Sometimes it becomes panicful. Sometimes it becomes like everything is just lost. There's darkness only and there's nothing. But that moment you realize that this time and moment will pass. This day will pass. This moment of the failure, rejection, crisis, challenges, barriers, stoppage, obstacles will pass and I will have my next version and next level of enthusiasm and courage. Because I believe that I am never going to give up. I am never going to give up. I am going, never going to give up. I won't leave it until I receive it. I won't conceive it until I believe it. And that's why I believe that I have the power of never giving up. Let the rain come, let the sun come, let the moon come, let everything come, let the disasters, earthquakes and all these panic situations and attacks come. But I have my own style, own destination, single plan, single destination, the vision, the mission, the sharp eyesight, the focus, the concentration that I will achieve until I receive. I will not leave because I have the attitude of never giving up, ladies and gentlemen. And I promise you all, promise to my parents, promise to the God, promise to my inner soul that I'm never going to lose, I'm never going to leave, I'm never going to quit, and I'm never going to give up. This is my final decision. So, I have to tell you this. 
आई हैव टोल्ड यू दिस कंटेक्स्ट आप फॉलो करिए यू ऑल फॉलो अपनी स्टाइल अपना निश तैयार करिए और एक अच्छे पब्लिक स्पीकर बनिए सो दैट यू कैन इंस्पायर मोटिवेट लैक्स ऑफ द पीपल एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो बी अ ग्रेट मैंटॉर एंड अ ट्रेनर थैंक यू सो मच